from Colin Organ. I'm a countryman and I'm very proud to be a countryman. It's not just shooting and grow s'mores. The management and the keepers and the landowners, they like to see all the waders, they like to see all the little birds, down to the lizards and the adders. If it wasn't for the shooting industry and the use and the management of this moorland, you wouldn't have this moorland. This wouldn't exist. This would be just rank bits of old heather. It wouldn't hold any game at all or any birds at all. The amount of waders, etc., that breed on here that you don't get anywhere else. You get plovers, golden plovers, lapwing, curlew, all breed in this habitat because of the way it's managed and they don't, they're not doing well anywhere else, so this is so important for that. And because of that, that pulls people to come and walk, come and enjoy this beautiful scenery that we have. And so they, they do bring a lot, because the knock-on to that again is what is, goes into the local businesses. We've had the CB in um, for the last 20 years, it's our 20 years now. We also have the Punch Bowl in, in Low Row, and we also have the King's Arms in uh, Astrid. Without grouse shooting, then there'd be less people, less children, I think the school would suffer. Um, from a business point of view, it's great for us. So it's significant, really significant. For the punch bowl, which is our second place, which is only 11 rooms, we have nine, 19 rooms here. Uh, Gunnerside Estate, we can, that maintains a business way beyond what it would normally do. I think it's incredibly important that people realise the wider benefits that exist through grouse shooting, which really is only the financial driver behind the landscape scale conservation that goes on in the uplands. We're incredibly fortunate round here to have so many well-keepered moors and incredibly strong populations of curlew, lapwing, golden plover, wheat ear, ring ousel, merlins and so many other birds. And they are completely reliant or, or, or very, very heavily reliant on the habitat management and the predator control that gamekeepers do and that, that allows them to thrive and, and the proof is really in the pudding and if you get up on the moors in May, June time when the waders are really in the middle of their breeding season, you know, you can see the place teeming with life. The thing about the, this beautiful moorland that we have is that this country has over 75% of the world's natural moorland. This, this doesn't exist anywhere else in this sort of abundance and therefore it's a very important habitat and it's very important that we manage it well. The predator control on the moors, I can understand some people not really liking it or understanding it. That is the thing, it's not got a cross. They love to come over and they see the grouse and they see the lapwings and the curlew. And everything. They have to realise it is because there isn't, the number of predators don't outweigh the others. There's still foxes about. They're never gonna, the, no keeper wants to see the last fox. We'll probably have over 40 staff on, on, on a sort of big driven day with 20 odd beaters, 10 flankers, four pickers up, you know, eight or nine loaders, the gamekeepers themselves, uh, you know, young trainees who work with them. Part of the moor and management is for the youngsters coming up onto the moor. And they're beating for uh, the head keepers. They're earning a little bit of money, they're keeping out of mischief, but the main thing, if you ask them, they enjoy the companionship and what they see, the little birds and everything that I've said before. It is the beauty of it all. Although there is a lot of controversy around moorland management, it's actually incredibly heartening when you're actually involved and working up there, working Natural England, uh, you know, lots of the wildlife charities are, are brilliant. And, and you know, looking online, it often seems that things are far more polarised and, and divisive when actually, you know, I think on the ground, there is a much stronger spirit of cooperation and collaboration, you know, and trying to, to, to achieve the goals that, that will give everyone the outcomes they want for the uplands. And all this beautiful moorland that we see around us, uh, people have got to realise that it's all managed and the hard work and dedication and expense and for myself and all the others, we do appreciate this. And a lot of ordinary people that drive over and see it, they appreciate the management and you've got to have this management as it would go to scrub and it would all be gone. Within 50 years, it would be scrub. And I hope it will never do that.